Hey guys, welcome back to Feed the World. We're here on Shin's farm and today we're going to be trying to make beehives and cultivate bees. So let's do it! Right, so today we're going to be building bees and beehives. So what do we need for a beehive? Well, let's, let's, just, da let's just dash inside because I think I have some bees in here. Oh yeah, here we go. I've got Meadows Drone and Princess, Marble Drone and Princess. Oh, and some honeycomb. What do I got that from? Uh, I've got a scoop, so if I find any more hives, in fact, I'll keep that on me, just in case I do find any more hives. If I do find them, I can scoop some more bees. And what else have I got in here? Nothing, I think, that will help us with the beehives. Right, so a beehive is an apiary. So let's look down up. Apiary. There it is. And then if I press R on that, I get the recipes. Right, okay. So I need to use wood and an impregnated casing. How do I get an impregnated casing? Now this is the carpenter, and I need to put wood around the edge. Oh, it has to be logs. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mahogany wood? There's, there's mahogany wood? Oh, oh my god, I'm going to have to find out how to get mahogany wood. I haven't come across a mahogany tree yet, but oh my god. That's got to be high on the to-do list. Okay. So logs go around the edge in a ring in the carpenter, and seed oil. Where do I get seed oil from? Let's press R on that, I guess. A liquid transposer. Uh, what? Makes seed oil. Seed oil. Oh, so it's a liquid, and I can put it in uh, a can. Problem is, how do I get the seed oil itself? Can I press R on it? Oh, yeah, here we go. So I need a squeezer. And inside the squeezer, I put a seed drop. Uh, okay. So how do I get a seed drop? A seedy comb in a centrifuge? Hang on a sec. I'm not entirely sure that I can do this. There must be another way to make seed oil. Squeezer. Oh, oh, I can put seeds in a squeezer. Okay, so I need to make a squeezer. How do I make this? Oh, easy cheese. Look, tin around the sides, glass on top and the bottom, and sturdy casing. Okay, let's go. Now, I'll need s tin and bronze. There's some tin. Not very much, though. And I'll need some, some logs later. Oh, was there any glass in there, actually? I should check for glass. Yep, there's some glass. Great stuff. So that's tin, glass, and I think it's bronze I need for the casing, isn't it? That should be in here. Oh, there we go. Let's just take half of those. Now, oh, it's night time, so I think I'm going to have a, a little bit of a rest. Ah, it's a glorious morning down on Stjin's farm. Okay, it's time to make the apiary. Or rather, it's time to make the squeezer, which is the first step towards making the apiary. I guess I have to squeeze the oil out of the seeds to make seed oil, and I need seed oil to make an apiary. So, let's see. It was the casing around the edge. There we go. Tin ingots. Around the side. Like so. The casing in the middle. And the last two pieces are... There we go. Glass. So I've got the squeezer. Fantastic. Now, does this thing need power? Let's take a look at it. Oh, that doesn't do anything. I'm not sure. Let's place it down over in the barn. Next to these engines. Because I think... It does need power. So if we hook it up to uh, these machines, plonk it down there. Now we'll need some gold uh, some gold pipe to hook that up to the power. Right, so let's plonk this down. Da, 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 da. There it goes. And uh, it's got power. Oh, right, these engines aren't on though, are they? Oh, in fact, I think I left these on overnight. Let's see, there's still peat in them. Or are these, are these levers turned off then? So any ash? No, no ash to collect. Okay, so let's uh, let's see what we need. Seeds go in the left, and um, turns it into seed oil. I think it needs power. If it doesn't, well, never mind. What else does this, does this need? Does it need water? Maybe. I don't know. What goes in there? What goes in there? Owner gin. Empty the. What does this say? If you are stuck with the remaining liquid in the machine's tank, you can click the tank with a pipette. To empty it 
Oh, maybe I can use a pipette full of seed oil rather than put it into cans. Um, how do I make a pipette? P-I-P-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. There we go. A pipette. How do I make that? Ah, oh, wool and two glass panes. No sweat. I think I've got some wool. I should have some wool left over. Let's have a look. There's red wool. Red wool will do. And, uh, oh, there's two panes. Great. Okay. So, la-di-da. And the wool. And that's pipette. Fantastic. Now, what else do I need? Seeds. Of course, seeds. What am I thinking? So, have I got any seeds in here? Oh, yeah, tons. Now, I'm going to need these seeds to plant my first crops. So, I'm only going to take half. I'm not sure how much seed oil I'll really need. So, in it goes. Some seeds. One, two, three, four we'll put in there. We'll turn on the peat-fired engines. Chugga, 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 chugga. Now, I'm not sure I'll need much power for this, so... I'll, I'll, I'll turn on all three just in case. Now, is this getting enough power? None of it's coming down here. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Yes, yes, the arrow is moving behind that tank. Okay. So, let's just watch this. Watch this happen. Watch the magic happen. Watch the seed oil turn into... Is there seed oil in there now? I don't know. Do I use pipettes on it? Let's try it. Well, the seeds are definitely turning into something. Do I need to put a bucket there or something? Maybe a can? What's going on? Okay, let's look into this. I want to make seed oil. So, if I are on that, I put, go to the squeezer and I need seeds. Oh, I think I do need a can. How do I make a can? Okay, let's look into this. Can. Oh, where's can? Come on. Creosote can. Where's empty can? There's got to be an empty tin can here somewhere. Do you see it, guys? There it is. Right, it's three tin ingots in a kind of upside down V. Okay, let's keep those engines running. And go and make the can. La di da di da. Oh wow, 12 cans from 310. That's great news, that's great stuff. Alright, now let's plonk the cans in there. Put some more seeds in the left. The power's on. I don't know, maybe maybe I use the pipette. Let's try that. I just right clicked with it. If I left click, no, that's not working. Oh, oh, when I left click, empty, left click, seed oil. Left click, empty, left click, seed oil. Okay, so I think I've got seed oil in this pipette. Does that mean I can put the seed oil in the carpenter now? Let's try it. Seed oil, yeah. Is that a tiny sliver? Yeah, apparently the seed oil in the carpenter. Great stuff. Okay, I'm going to take the seeds out. Save those. Actually, no, I'm just going to keep the seeds in there because we might need seed oil for something else. Keep the engines running. Now, let's see. It was impregnated casing. Impreg. And then press R on that. And we need seed oil in the carpenter and wooden logs around the edge. Okay, let's go. While the peat fired engines are still rolling, we'll put... Huh? It won't let me put anything in the carpenter. What's going on? Oh, I got a left click. That's right. So that's that's the uh, that's that's the recipe. I'll put the birch wood in there. Now is it going to fire up? Maybe I haven't got enough seed oil. Let's see how much seed oil is uh, in here. Put that in the pipette, and then into the tank. Okay, the tank is empty now. Oh, and the pipette's got seed oil. There we go. Oh yeah, look. Seed oil in the tank, in the carpenter. And, oh, the yellow bar is rising. Is it? Is that rising? Yeah, very slowly, but I think pretty soon we're going to have our impregnated casing. So now we just play the waiting game. We'll see what's going on over at the squeezer. It's squeezing all of these seeds, but it's not making much oil at all. Maybe I need to refresh. No? It's not putting them in cans, that's for sure. Oh, darkness is coming. I think I'm going to go have a sleep, 
and by the time I get back, I should have my impregnated casing. <sighs> Another great morning down at Stjins Farm. I should really go over to that mountain and mine up those weird kind of voodoo purple blocks, because they do look pretty cool, and I think they would make for great scarecrows. Right, let's check the carpenter. Oh, it's almost done. It's very close. It's very close now. Come on. Almost there. Getting closer. Closer. Yes, there we go. Impregnated casing. Great. So let's get the birch out of there. Turn off the peat-fired engines. Oh. There we go. Saving the peat. Oh, we'll just leave that tank full of seed oil, I guess. And right, so now we have our impregnated casing. It's time to make an apiary. Apiary. Oh man, I'm so excited. We're, we're so close to having bees. Now I need any old wood around the edge and the impregnated casing in the middle. So I'm just going to use birch wood. So okay, I need to use the crafting bench here to make some wooden slabs. Let's do it. Six will do. Put the slabs across the top, the, whoop, the wood across the sides, and the bottom, and the impregnating casing. There we go, apiary. Okay, great. Now we're going to need a few of these. So let's get making some more impregnated casing. And in fact, I think I'm going to put more of the seeds into that, into that squeezer so that I can make some more beehives. Because apiaries are the key to making different kinds of trees. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, I'll show you in a minute. But basically, once I put down an apiary, now I'm going to use the forest out behind the back of my house to put down the beehives. Now, what we do is we put these apiaries near trees, and they will then pollinate the trees around themselves with um, the well. Basically, that's that's how that's how kind of pollination works. Bees kind of go from tree to tree, and they pollinate on the leaves. Well, not actual trees, I think it's just flowers, but basically we put this down anywhere near trees. Here looks like a good spot, good a spot as any. Then we put some bees in. Oh, I haven't got any bees on me. There we go. So I'll need a drone and a princess. Let's just use this meadow's princess. Put this drone back. Head out to our apiary. Like so, put the drone in the bottom, the princess in the top, and this will create a queen, apparently. I think. Oh, it's going quick. There we go. A meadow's queen. Yay. Now, the queen, I think, do we put another drone in the bottom? I'm not quite sure. Machines of this type do not require any power. That's good to know. Temperature normal. Humidity normal. I think, yeah, because we're in the meadows. Oh, look, the bees are going out. Right, so these bees will go out towards these trees. And eventually, some of the leaves will change colour. And we use something called a grafter. Let's look that up. There we go. To harvest those trees, it's just bronze and two sticks. And then that will give us a guaranteed sapling of a new kind of tree. So let's dash inside. Now, I hope I can find mahogany trees quite quick. Let's dash inside and make ourselves a grafter. Bronze. Oh, I'm going to need sticks, actually. So let's just plonk the oak and the birch there for sticks. Tick tock. Bam, a grafter. Great stuff. Now let's go out and see. I don't think any of the leaves will have changed yet. If they have, that's great. But it usually takes a long time. Oh, oh, watch out. Creeper. Now I'm going to ice this joker before he gets near to my bees. Because he seems to be attracted by the honey. Oh, he's a yogi creeper. Come here. Come here, scumbag. That's right, you. I'm talking to you. I'm going to waste you, fool. Oh, oh. Oh, here he comes. Wait, he almost seems scared of me. What's he doing? He's taking a weird route. Okay. Okay, let's do him. Oh. Oh, it's a bit laggy. There we go. Gunpowder, nice. Right, now let's go and check out the bees and see if they've pollinated any of the leaves. Oh. 
No, no, they haven't just yet. So what I'm going to do now is head back to the crafting benches, make some more apiaries, and uh, and plonk some more bees inside these apiaries that I'm going to make. So I'll, I'll get back to you guys in just a bit. Okay, the machines are in full, full, full whack. Seed oil is being produced in the squeezer. And the carpenter is making, oh, when it's got enough power, I guess, that will start making that impregnated casing. It's got the seed oil and it's got the birch wood. So in the meantime, I think it's time for us to start kind of redoing this forest here so we have a more efficient setup for getting our bees pollinating the trees. So let's go. Now I need all my apiaries near trees to maximize the pollination effect so I can get lots of new cool trees. Now bee breeding isn't easy, there's a lot to it, but the basics are this. You gather princesses and drones from hives around the world, you put one of each in an apiary, they turn into one queen, and over time that queen produces honeycomb. Eventually it will die, and when it dies it produces offspring. These new bees will be dependent on what drone you paired the princess with to begin with. Specific combinations give a chance of getting a specific resulting breed, and it's very complicated, so I suggest you guys, if you want to get into bee breeding, read up from the wikis around around the internet on Feed the Beast uh, and uh, and forestry about how bees are created, but for the time being, here was my bay crafted from, uh, from birch wood where I was going to put my apiaries to maximize how many trees I could pollinate. So when I was finished with the apiaries, I struck out into the world to find some more bees. I even tackled a dungeon before coming back to the farm. Right, so I'm back at base and it's time to take stock of what I've collected from my bee trip and the, that, that awesome loot from the, uh, from the dungeon. Now I've got a few princesses and drones. I've got a marshy drone, marshy princess, meadows princess, meadows drone. So it's time for me to head over to the uh, the apiaries and put these suckers inside. Get these bees circulating around these trees and get them pollinating these suckers. Okay. So you put a princess in there, a meadows drone in there, and it creates a queen. Yay. And again, a drone. And now, can I use a marshy princess, do you think? Let's try. Oh, I don't know if this is going to work, though, because I think these bees might only do stuff in the marsh. That's a, we've got a marshy queen, so okay. Now let's put the... Uh, what other queen did we get? We got a different queen as well, didn't we? Oh, that's right, it's in the chest. It's a marbled queen, so let's grab her, see what she does. Because I need to fill up these apiaries so that we can cross-pollinate these trees. Now, where are you, queen? There she is, marble princess, fantastic. Okay, we'll pop the marbled princess in here with a, uh, a marshy drone, why not? We'll cross those two together. Oh, oh, it's a pig. Hello, my friend. Thanks for the pork. Now we'll put a Meadows drone in here. And a Meadows princess. It's going to queen up. And last but not least, Meadows drone and a Meadows queen, uh, princess into a queen. But these beehives are not shooting out bees yet. Oh, this one is. Okay. What's the difference? Okay. Is it the chunk? No. Extreme hills, extreme hills. They're all extreme hills. So yeah, why is this beehive sending out bees but the other one isn't? I don't know. That's something to look into. Let's check on the trees over here by this beehive. Oh, oh, skeleton. Yeah, none of them are cross-pollinated. So what we'll do, guys, is we'll call it there. But today's been the bee episode. We put some apiaries down. Now these are going to make honeycomb for us. And they're going to cross-pollinate these trees. And when we get back, we should have plenty of cool new breeds of trees that we can put down. And fingers crossed we've got mahogany. So this has been Feed the World, the bee episode. Next episode, I think we're going to have to hit uh, farms and actually get some wheat down and get some wheat fields. So yeah, hit like and favorite if you've enjoyed the episode and hit subscribe to see more and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.